Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you uh, actually a couple of really quick, really simple ways um, that could possibly make your website development in Dreamweaver a little bit easier. Um, all we're going to do is take a look at the site options. So if you go to the top bar and go to site and choose manage sites, you're going to get your little manage site um, window pop up here and just choose the website you're looking at and click edit and then you're going to get this little window here and what you want to look at is on under category on the remote info make sure maintain synchronization information is checked and let me show you what that does for you I'm going to click done that was already checked for me what that does is I can go back up to site when I'm done. Say I go through and I make updates on a bunch of pages um, and maybe I can't quite remember which ones I did. I can go back up to site. I can choose synchronize site wide. I'll get this little screen that pops up and I can click preview and it's going to run through my site. I picked one that wouldn't take a really long time for this tutorial so let's give it a moment. It's checking to see what is newer, and then it's going to ask me, give me a list of them. It's going to ask me if I want to upload them to the, um, to the server. So what I can do here is I can, I have a couple different choices. I'll make this window smaller. I have a couple different choices of what I can do with this file, and I'm going to just say here, I'm just going to say ignore it. So I could go through and select ignore on a bunch of files or even delete. This helps me clean up my files. Then once you click OK, it will upload everything else. Um, if I had a list of files here that I did not choose ignore, it would upload all of those to the server at the same time. Then I don't have to keep track of what pages I updated and what all needs to be uploaded. So it's a really great tool. The other one, really quick, if you go back under site, manage sites, go back into edit under cloaking right here if you enable cloaking and if you check cloak files ending with I have marked dot PSD because I like to keep my Photoshop files layered um, but I don't want to upload them to the server because a lot of time they're larger and they're just not necessary to be on the server so what I do is say cloak everything that ends in that extension and I'm going to click done here and then what happens is if on my files list if I happen to have a Photoshop file in here it puts a red line through it so when you do your uploads and when you synchronize your site it's going to skip your Photoshop files and not try to upload them to your site so you don't have to worry about selecting um, certain items so that's it those are just some simple little tips I wanted to bring to you um, that could make your website building a little bit easier thank you